Before I get to filters, I just forgot I, there was something I wanted to show you about sources, and I simply wanted to show you that for images and video, coding images and video is as easy as coding text. So just as you saw how we could code uh, uh, text by selecting a section, I can do the same thing in here. I can take a selection of this image, whatever section I want, I drag a selection rectangle over it, just like you'd use selection rectangles in a graphics tool. I can come over here and I can pick any existing code I want and apply the code, or I could create a new code and apply that code. Um, there's nothing special about the code labels. Code labels can be applied to any type of content, text, video, media, images, you name it, um, uh, just the same, you know, equally the same. So um, I can apply it to this to do a video, same thing. I open up a, a, a sample video, and in the sample video, you know, it starts playing it. I can pause it. I can select by using the controller bar to shift and click and select, or I could mark the start and end point. I can mark the, the start point here and then move to a different point and uh, mark the end point here and set that um, to mark a, a beginning and end. So there's a bunch of different ways that I can basically select um, uh, 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 content. Once I've selected a segment of video, same thing. I pick a code, whatever code I want, I click apply code, it's applied the video. Just as I click on a, a text code and it pops up the text to show me that, if I click on an image code, it pops up and shows me the selected area of the image. If I click on a video code, it pops up and it plays just the coded segment of the video. So you can work with all those other media types the same way you work with text. So.